Hey there, Joel here and welcome to my channel Math World. Today is the part 2 video for the chapter Some Applications of Trigonometry. In the previous video, I have already briefed out on what are the important things that need to be known to solve problems on this chapter. In this, we are going to understand a few more questions. So let's go ahead and solve them. An electrician to repair an electric fault on a pole of height 5 meters, he needs to reach a point 1.3 meters below the top of the pole to undertake the repair work. What should be the length of the ladder that he should use, which when inclined at an angle of 60 degrees to the horizontal would enable him to reach the required position? Also. How far from the foot of the pole should be place the foot of the ladder? Okay, should he place the foot of the ladder? You can take value of root 3 as 1.73. Now I'm sure after reading such a big question, you must have already decided like why should I even attempt it? Let, let me leave that question. Okay, but let us break this entire question down. Okay, to some of the important keywords over here. Now, in this entire question, let us mark whatever is important and things that are important are these. Okay, so a pole of height 5 meters and point 1.3 below the top, whatever is in red, what should be the length of the ladder angle, which is 60 degrees and how far should he place the letter okay so taking all these points i've tried to put it in form of a picture so pole of height five meters and where they have to reach is 1.3 meters below the top right so the highest point is over there and you have to reach 1.3 meters below then Length of the ladder is something that needs to be known. Angle is 60 degrees and this distance is also something that we need to find over here. Okay, so I hope the picture has made it much more clear what are we trying to solve and find out. Okay, now this picture is a little too fancy so I'll just change it to a normal mathematical diagram. So you can see something like this but wait a second you can see 3.7 meters coming over there now how did that happen all i have done is i have taken the 5 meter the entire height of the pole and minus it with 1.3 right so total becomes 1.3 plus 3.7 will give me 5 meters okay so here bd is equal to ad that's the height of the pole minus AB which is 1.3 so after minusing what I get is BD to be 3.7 meters now I need to find out BC and DC so let's calculate them okay so which is that trigonometric function which is relating to BC and BD because one of the very key point that you need to remember is you have to look out for right angle triangles. Now in this case it is very simple because there's just one triangle over there. But if there are more triangles then you have to always look out for right angle triangles. Second you need to look out is the either the angle of elevation or angle of depression. Third you need to look out is whatever you are finding whichever side you are trying to find out in that entire right angle triangle some other side needs to be mentioned that means over here the triangle that i'm looking at is bdc angle that i have is 60 degrees and to find bc i have another side known with a value that is a bd so this has to be there one side needs to be known and one angle needs to be known so if you know these information then for that triangle any other side can be found out 
So over here, I have used sine C, which is BD, that's opposite, upon hypotenuse, which is BC. Next, we are finding sine 60, right? C angle C is 60 degrees. So sine 60, if you remember the previous chapter that we have studied, sine 60 will be how much? It will be root 3 upon 2. BD is 3.7 and BC is unknown. So all I will do now is cross multiply. And what I will get is something like this. So BC is equal to 3.7. The 2 which is in the denominator goes on the other side, gets multiplied. Root 3 which is in the numerator comes down and gets divided. So after solving this part, what I get is BC to be 4.28 meters. Okay, I hope I have done the calculation correctly because you know I have a habit of purposely solving it wrong. So why don't you do the math over there on your book, pause the video and calculate it. All right, and check if that answer is right. So I have already found out the length of the ladder, which is BC. So the ladder has to be 4.28 meters. And how far should you keep it? That can be calculated using cos, which is relating adjacent and hypotenuse. So hypotenuse I've already calculated in the previous slide. So this would become cos 60 is equal to DC, which is adjacent upon hypotenuse which is BC cos 60 is 1 upon 2 and 4.28 is that I've already calculated so taking it on the other side this would become 1 multiplied by 4.28 divided by 2 and after doing the math you will get DC to be 2.14 meters so that is the distance that he needs to place the ladder away from the pole you know to balance it out and reach at that point B. Next one I hope this previous problem was clear the next problem is an observer 1.5 meters tall is 28.5 meters away from the a palm tree the angle of elevation to the highest point of the tree from her eye is 45 degrees what is the height of the tree okay so these are the things that are important and based on that let's draw the figure so observer of height 1.5 meters okay he is 28.5 meters away from the coconut tree or palm tree angle of elevation from his horizontal view to the highest point is 45 degrees now I've written 28.5 twice over there because whenever you are solving the problem sometimes the triangle uh, is given but one of the side is not exactly given to you but it is given indirectly now if the distance from his foot to the foot of the palm tree is 28.5 meters do you think the distance from his eye to the palm tree will it differ or will it be the same so that's the idea so height of the tree I need to find out so let's put down the entire figure properly mathematically a figure should be like this and a B which is the height of the entire palm tree is equal to nothing but a E now I've given a point E is to where exactly he, his horizontal view would end and plus his height that is BE. So AB is nothing but I have what I've done is that AE which is unknown given alphabet X BE is 1.5. So 10D from point D is where I'm looking from right so 10 D is nothing but opposite upon adjacent I told you that you need to know one angle and one side so angle is 45 side is 28.5 and that is the adjacent side so based on that I have 
written 10 d which is opposite upon adjacent let us substitute the values so we are finding for 10 45 ae is i need to find out and 28.5 is the distance which will become 1045 is 1 and this cross multiplying will give me ae to be 28.5 meters now is this the height of the tree no ae is a part of the tree right so complete height will be ae plus that 1.5 which will be 28.5 plus 1.5 which is 30 meters i hope this problem is very clear and if you like this video then don't forget to hit that like button and i want you to try this out for practice from a point p on the ground the angle of elevation to the top of a 10 meter tall building is 30 degrees let's give some information these are the things that are important over there and from point p right so you need to find out what is the length of that entire flag stuff how big is that entire pole that is what you need to find out go ahead and give it a try and if you can't then i will help you in the next video okay and hope you like this video if you did please don't forget to hit the like button share the video with your friends subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you don't miss out any more notification for the upcoming videos especially for the solution of this problem or if you have already solved it then it's like you know you're checking for the answer this is joel saying bye bye to you take care happy solving